This is problem 15 from the Spring 2015 Amatic Student Math Leagues contest. Uh, problem states the graphs of the equations 2 square root of y minus x plus 1 equals 0 and x plus y equals 25 intersect at one or more points ai comma bi. Find the sum of bi minus ai for all such points. Now, this is going to end up being relatively straightforward, really. The one thing is there's one little catch that I think maybe they're trying to catch you on here, one little common mistake. Let's just start writing our equations. 2 square root y minus x plus 1 equals 0, and x plus y equals 25. Now, you could, given that you have a graphing calculator, just solve both of these for y, look at the graphs, use the calculator to find the intersection points, or do that algebraically. Here, and everything will work out fine. It's a little bit of a catch, though. So here, I'm going to solve for y. I get 2 square root y equals, let's see, I'll move the x to the negative x to the other side is positive x, 1 to the other side is minus 1. And let's see, then I'm going to get square root y is x minus 1 over 2. And this gives me y equals x minus 1 over 2 squared. Now, there's an issue here, though. So what we get is that x minus 1 over 2 has to be square root y. That means x minus 1 over 2, that has to be greater than or equal to 0. Cannot be negative. And what that means is we have to have x be at least 1. If x was less than 1, we'd get a negative on the right-hand side. And there's no way to get a square root of anything to give us a negative. So square root's defined to be the positive sort of square root. So we can graph this equation here. Uh, but we have to just pay attention to x has to be greater than or equal to 1. Essentially, we're going to get a parabola, and it's only half of the parabola. Other equation, you just solve y equals 25 minus x. And now we can go and graph these. So what I can do, let's how about do the 25 minus x. And then I have x minus 1 divided by 2, whole thing squared. Go to graph, and now I'm looking for my intersections. There's my parabola. I don't see this is a line, the other one. I don't see that because I need to zoom out further. I'm going to go to window. Let's change these. Let's see. We know x is at least 1, so let's just change this to 0. And 25 minus x, I'm going to go out to 25. y is something squared, so that's at least 0. Go out to 25. Maybe change these scales to 5s here and then graph. There's our line. There's our parabola. And you can think about this as really only one intersection point. So really, the full parabola and the full line will have two intersection points. So let's maybe look at that. Let's change our x window about to negative 25. And let's go here. I don't know, 50. I'm not sure if that's big enough. But then I get my line. There's my parabola. So there's really two intersection points. But this one over here has x less than 1. And we know x has to be greater than or equal to 1 because of the square root there. So we're going to ignore that intersection. It's an intersection of these two graphs, but it doesn't solve the original two equations. OK, now let's find that intersection. Given that I graphed these, probably the easiest thing to do is to go use my calculator to intersect. So there's one function, second curve that one. And then my guess, I'm going to mosey on toward the intersection I want, hit enter, and that intersection is 9 and 16. So what I get here is my intersection. I have one intersection, 9, 16, ugly 16. And so what I got to do is bi minus ai. That's the y minus the x. That's 16 minus 9. That means our answer is 7. That's option A. And in some sense, we're done. Now, there's another way you could have approached this. I think it might be worth talking about here. And that's, well, I have this funniness with the square root of y. And so why bother dealing with that? Let's maybe write up these equations again. 2 square root y minus x plus 1 equals 0. And x plus y equals 25. Let's just make sure we get those right. Yep, so why bother dealing with the square root y? Let's just find solutions instead to 2 square root x minus y plus 1 equals 0. 
and well, x plus y equals 25. So essentially, switch the roles of x and y. Now maybe over here, just to be clear, I should write this as y plus x, but that's the same thing as x plus y. So just replace all the x's and y's, switch those around, and then I can solve for y here. I move the y to the other side. y is 2 square root of x plus 1. Here, y is 25 minus x. And then I just graph those and look for my intersection. So here, I get that one's the same. This one is now going to be 2 square root of x plus 1. And I'll graph, and I've got maybe a funny window now, but there we go. And now I get the 1 intersection here. Note, if I went to my window and now change my y, about negative 25, you might wonder, do I pick up another intersection down here somewhere? But I won't, because this parabola, I only really get the half because I have the square root of x here. And then I can go, whoops, second calc, do my intersect, use those. OK, I'll start there. And it finds that same point. Now note, it doesn't find 9, 16. It finds 16, 9. But then you could do the same 16 minus 9 equals 7. It's just an alternate way to think about this, not really having to solve quite as hard, although initial thing wasn't that bad. Anyway, 